Hello programmers! Today we're going to use our Python skills to program a robot. This little Cosmo robot, I got it for my son for Christmas because I thought I could borrow it and take it into class and demo because I knew that Python was the language you could use to program this robot. And I'm not advertising that you run out and buy this robot that's several hundred dollars, but I just wanted to show that just with a few of the simple things we've learned in class, like for loops or defining a function, you can actually program a little robot. So. First, I had to download the Cosmo module because it has a bunch of library code for the Cosmo robot. That doesn't come pre-installed with Python, uh, but you can download it just like you download another module. And importing it makes all those functions available for me. Most recently in my Python class, I talked about writing your own functions, and we learned that you start with DEF to define a function, and then you have the name of your function. So this right here, Cosmo underscore for loop function, I just came up with that name because I thought it was descriptive of what this was going to do, but you could really pick any function name here. And then there's going to be one input argument to this function, and the input is going to be this little robot or a reference to this robot to be able to do things with it. And then I've got a for loop that should look familiar, and I'm going to switch it so that instead of counting by one, it's gonna count by two, so it doesn't last as long. But you can place your bets on using this range command and starting at one, stopping at 11, before you hit 11, and then counting by two, how many numbers it's going to have when you go through that loop. And then when you're in the for loop, what are we doing? I've got some comments to say, convert the number to a string and make Cosmo say it. So this x starts out as the value of one. If I go down in here and I say x is one, then I can see, well, right now it doesn't have any quotes around it, but if I call the string function and pass in x, it just ends up putting quotes around it. Well, it turns out the Cosmo say text function needs a string. So we need to convert whatever x is to the string version of that. And then we'll have the robot say it, and then here's another function from the library, wait for completion. Um, so this line right here is calling the function Cosmo for loop function. And the way to do it using the Cosmo library is to pass in the name of the function that you want to run. So let me go ahead and run this and we'll see the real fun. Oops, I have to save it first. Okay, cool. So we, we stopped at nine and we don't want to say 11 because that's the stop number for the range command. If we wanted to count by five, we could just change that step number for our for loop. And then we should be done. Um, so that was just a simple example of using uh, the Cosmo robot and programming it using a Python program. And I've got one more program for us. Okay, my next program using this cute little guy is a program that has him sing the scales. So I'll go ahead and run it and we can just like see what it's gonna say. Yeah. Uh, So I'm defining my own function again, and I called this Cosmo program. And inside, the data type I'm using is a list, which has all the strings that uh, the little Cosmo guy is going to sing. And then I'm deciding the voice pitch and the change in his voice. And notice I'm doing this function length of words. Well, here's the words list, and we can figure out the length by counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight different items in there. So the length of words is eight. I'm subtracting one and using that to set a, a change in the pitch when he's talking. Then we've got another for loop, and this for loop is different than the last one. Instead of using the range command and going over different numbers, we are going to iterate over each of the items in the list. So the first time through the loop, the note variable is do, 
and that'll get stored into note and the robot will say note and then we're we've got some optional input arguments where we've got the name of the uh, parameter for the function say text and we talked about positional parameters and name parameters and this is a name parameter I'm trying to pass in the voice pitch and the duration scalar how long it takes for him to say this word and then I'm also going to wait for the robot to complete saying that before I go through the loop another time. So we already saw that run, but it doesn't get old, so I'm gonna try running it again. Cool.